Beautiful people, welcome back to another airline pilot vlog, your favorite pilot Pete. And today we've got a start of a three, three and a half day trip. We're starting in the Mecca, you already know, Memphis, Tennessee. And we're going to a city I personally have never been to, at least at this airline, and that's to Omaha, Nebraska. Nice short flight, only about an hour and 30 minutes to schedule that. So looking forward to a nice quick one overnighting in Omaha and then we got layovers in Ontario in Indianapolis but it ends the back end deadhead my personal favorite I'll get home a day early and get paid to do it so can't beat that as always if you want to come along and see some behind the scenes of an airline pilot's trip day in the life let's go do it <music> Nebraska, windy, 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 and also very bumpy on the way here. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh. Really, really windy. I don't know what the heck's going on in the Midwest today, but we don't like it. We don't like it at all when it's this windy. We're here, never mistake. Got to the hotel in Omaha. We're staying right downtown, so we gotta jump on Google, find the best steak in the city. Go to for dinner first. I gotta hit a workout though, because it's non-negotiable. I didn't get it in yet because I was busy commuting into Memphis for this trip, but just wanna show you guys our route of flight today up from Memphis and the storms that we kind of had to navigate through. It wasn't anything too bad, but on the release, our uh, flight plan took us through these storms on paper. It looked great, but there's about 100 knots wind up there pushing these storms to the northeast. So as we pretty much were flying to our route, these storms were pretty much right over our flight path. So we had to de do some deviating. It was pretty freaking bumpy. We were up at 38,000 feet to try to go above the storms, but didn't really do much because the tops of this was like 55,000 feet. So pretty gnarly storms. We heard over the radio, there's like some tornadoes in the area. So hopefully everyone's safe on the ground there. Then once we passed them, Omaha was just windy, no more storms, landed runway 36, nice little crosswind. Captain's leg, he did a nice job. Again, not allowed to do any on anyone else's grading. So I'll keep my mouth shut, but almost six o'clock local time. Sun's still out, quick workout, stay bedtime, baby. Let's get it. All right, workout complete, shower, now I'm going out to eat. Hopefully I don't get called a fraud because I'm actually not gonna go to a steakhouse. I thought to myself long and hard, you know what? I cook personally the best steak out there. Why am I gonna pay for a steak that won't be as good overpriced at a restaurant, even though I am in Omaha, home of Omaha steak? I know you're thinking, Pete, everyone thinks their food is the best. There's probably nothing special. False, mine is special. Everyone who's ever had it has even said so myself. So what I'm gonna do is if you comment below on this video, the word steak, I'm gonna personally shoot you a message inviting you to my place in New York City to cook you a steak. It's gonna happen on Saturday. It's gonna happen on March 16th. All you gotta do is DM me steak, message me steak on the video below, comments below, and I will personally send you the invite and we'll have a taste test at my apartment to show you that Pilot Pete's steak is the best in the biz. So, no more steak restaurant. We're going to gather in Omaha. Got good reviews. Hopefully it doesn't disappoint. Let's go check it out. I went with the 
fried chicken with some mac and cheese and hot sauce. Looks good, review coming soon. Fried chicken mac and cheese from Gather, 9.2 out of 10. It was absolutely freaking delicious. And then super cool downstairs, they have like this basil farm thing that you can check out, which is pretty cool. It shows where all like the fresh ingredients are made. But fun fact, it looked familiar, it sounded familiar. Gather, they actually have a spot in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, which I've been to. So similar menu, that place was the best restaurant I went to in Jackson Hole. I'm only going to one restaurant in Omaha, but it was the best restaurant in Omaha. Like I said, very, very good. Highly recommend. Welcome back to my hotel. Bedtime, early wake up. See you guys in the morning. Good morning from the ramp in Omaha, Nebraska. A little chilly, but the sun is out. We're feeling good. The negative is we're running about an hour late. The inbound flight from Memphis just got in. About, like I said, an hour late. I'll show you guys when I get into the flight deck. My iPad, the storms, brutal in Memphis last night into early this morning. So all the outbound flights where you're delayed or canceled. Luckily, our plane's here, but uh, like I said, it's gonna put us behind the clock about an hour and hopefully we make up some time and we get moving and grooving. They're just finishing up loading right now. So hopefully out of here in the next 30, 40 minutes or so. And uh, like I said, it will be a little bit late, but that would just mean that the sort this afternoon will be even later. My turn to fly, got an alternate of Tulsa. Like I said, those storms are still over Memphis, so weather's gonna be kind of dicey, uh, but uh, we're gonna do our best to get to Memphis. And as always, safety first, Tulsa's an alternate. Let's do it. Got a flight from Omaha down to Memphis, and that's the weather I'm talking about. Looking pretty gnarly. So we had enough fuel on board to shoot a couple approaches from Memphis, and then we got Tulsa as our backup. Just landed in Memphis, ILS 36 left. Your boy did a nice job, but we're next to the corporate jet. So that's how they're gonna, they're gonna get me home. Since the landing was so good, they're gonna fly me back to New York in the private jet. I wish. Not gonna lie, folks. Weather wasn't as bad as we anticipated. So like I said, we did ILS to 36 left. And uh, I've been getting lucky. Really, really lucky, I guess, because the landings have been chef's kiss. If I may so much, say so myself. Let's see, three hours. Uh, we're gonna be delayed leaving Memphis, so buys me an extra like half hour for gym and workout. So I'm at the gym now. Gonna do some legs, then head to Whole Foods, and then we're going to Ontario, California. Not to be confused, with Ontario, Canada, for our last leg of the day. Let's go get it. Beautiful people, we're out here on the ramp. Foggy and yucky, but not too, too cold. So I'm rocking the short sleeve. Probably cause I'm still kind of sweaty from the gym, but shower, got my whole food sushi and wontons, B plus on the food. And now we're pre-flighting the 7-6. We're heading to Ontario, California. Not to be confused with Ontario, Canada. It's gonna be my leg to monitor. We got one jump seater and it's just under four hours to the great state of California. Looking forward to a smooth ride up at 38,000 feet. All right, this is kind of cool. So walking around, three flight in the 7.6 and look what I found on the wheel well, the gear doors. So a lot of the times the rampers put, they play like tic-tac-toe and write some stuff. I don't know who wrote that, but pretty cool. Pretty freaking cool. Departure out of Memphis today is the Ducks 5 RNAV. It'll be my first time departing on the Ducks. First fix is Beale. I'm guessing for Beale Street. Pyramid is that new uh, fixture downtown. Then uh, Hyvis, Weston, Ducks, Heller. And there it is in our FMS. All the points. The airplane will do just a fine job. And on our way to Ontario, 1399.
just landed in Ontario, California, not to be confused with Canada. Long freaking flight. I mean, we had over like 80 knot headwind right in the face at 36,000 feet. Our FMS, the basically the computer's brains, told us to send a 320 less uh, headwinds and actually save some gas and got here like two minutes earlier than what if we had stayed at 36. But about an hour and 20 minutes delayed leaving Memphis, never fun. 12 hour layover here just turned into a 10 hour layover. So needless to say, this is all I'm getting. I got my workout in already, thankfully on the turn. And uh, I got a couple hours um, before I gotta freaking wake up. So I'm gonna go grab some pizza for dinner because it's Friday, Ash Wednesday, no meat, or Friday Lent for me, no meat. Uh, change out of this, obviously. And then literally 4 a.m. local time wake up. Do not remind me about that. For our last leg of the trip, we're going Ontario to Indy. Uh, the flight to here was nice though. We were all above the storms that were over like the West Coast. And then uh, Captain's Leg, he made a good arrival and approach into 26 right in Ontario. Uh, busy Palm Springs. It's really cool though. You come in in between those mountains. If you've seen my, another, one of my vlogs when I was here before, the views are really, really pretty. So uh, I like how the sun's still up when I'm landing now. That's always nice. So like I said, super quick layover. It's part of the deal though. You don't get to push your departure back tomorrow as long as you have legal rest, which we do. As long as we have 10 hours um, between duty periods and stuff like that, we're all set. So uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning in Ontario, bright and early. Beautiful people, good morning from the ranch in Ontario, California. Early morning wake up and we're feeling good. It's my leg, last flight of the trip. We're doing uh, Ontario to Indianapolis at the end of the back end deadhead. We got the fuel truck, so for those of you who don't know, fuelers come in their big truck, hook up to the wing, and that's where most of the fuel is stored in the wing of the aircraft. It can either be fueled on the left or right side. So today they're doing, it goes with both tanks, but the, the actual hose hook up and go on both sides. So just under four hours, the tailwind pushing us to Indy. Like I said, it ends the back end deadhead. Uh, full flight today though, we got uh, four jump seaters. So the three nice seats behind us and the one right next to us gonna be a full boat. This is the most comfortable for the flight crew, but we love helping out our fellow pilots and mechanics and getting them to work, so it's no big deal. So, planes all loaded, we're ready to go early. Hopefully, everything works out and uh, we'll be earlier on time. So, next stop is Indy, let's go get it. Crafts all set up, ready to go. Early morning out of Ontario. Here's our departure, the Raj A3. You heard that ding. So the airplane alerts us, is A cars. I come down here to our A cars on the FMS. We got a message from dispatch saying early departure approved. One of my favorite things to receive is we can get out of here ASAP as soon as we're done. So we on our clearance and our jump seaters. Back to our departure, the Raj A3. And here are a bunch of fixes. We're departing 2-6 of Ontario. Ontario, and they got a bunch of out or above altitudes that we gotta comply with based on all the traffic in the area. That's why we're heading east to Indianapolis. Total distance, 1593. See you in Indy. Just landed in Indianapolis. That's all she wrote for the trip. Uh, now I just missed my first attempt to get home. Uh, there was a flight to LaGuardia that left literally like now. So there was no way I was gonna make it over to the other terminal in time. So I got about an hour and a half until my next flight to LaGuardia. It's the day before St. Patrick's Day, the Saturday of the parade. So I'm missing the parade, but we'll get back to New York and have a lot of fun. Uh, great flight from Ontario though, packed with jump seaters. Smooth ride, 35,000 feet on the way here is my leg. And uh, catering food was good, which is always a plus. And then super gusty winds here in Indianapolis, 240 at 13, gust 28, but pretty much directly down the runway. So it made for a nice touchdown. And I got complimented by the captain 
in all four jumps here is about how nice a touchdown was. Didn't get a grade, but like I said, I've been on a hot streak, folks. 9.4, we'll go with out of 10 on that one. Two, three to the left, nice long runway, taxi to the gate. And uh, yeah, one of the favorite parts about my airline is since my trip doesn't end in my base, they pay for my ticket home. So I get to change out of this monkey suit and put on some normal clothes and I'm just a normal paid pa paying passenger. Uh, no jump seat, no begging for a ride and it doesn't cost me a nickel and I get to keep the points. So I love that. That's all she wrote as always. Comments, questions below. DM me on Instagram with any aviation related questions you may have. And until next time, I'll see you.